Hi everyone, it's Hilary from Pink Bubble Cards and welcome back to my craft room. If you're new here, welcome and if you're returning, thank you. If you enjoy paper crafts, please consider subscribing and please click the like button below. So I thought I would share this card I've made today. Um, my mum is going to be 80 and I wanted to make a card for her. So let me show you what I did. Um, I've actually got quite a few scraps. So I looked out two stamps, two sort of um, flourish stamps or leaves. And um, I'm not sure if the camera will pick them up, but there they are. So uh, I'm making a six by six card. So the white was five and a half by five and a half and then I cut the mat at five and three quarters so I decided that I would use the finer of the two vines um, it's the one on the right and so I stamped it now I thought about using green but I decided that it was too dark because I wanted it to be quite delicate and I managed to pair up the paper and the ink quite nicely. So I started off with stamping down the side. Then I moved to the Cricut and I tried different fonts, um, different ways of printing it. You know, you've got to be careful with it where the position is. Um, and you can see there that this one's gone right the way over the the stamping so that one got scrapped this one I felt was far too thick and um, I wanted really the 80 to be the effective one so I changed the font and I used the fine it's actually a black glitter pen but it doesn't really glitter very much I am just going to put the eye on wishing because it's not really there um, so yeah, I then used two pens with the Cricut Joy to write the sentiment in the 80th. And then I looked out my, um, dye catalogue to see if I had small flowers. And, um, in my dye catalogue, I've got everything. Let me just give you a sneak peek. So this is my die catalogue and I've got everything sort of stamped out. There are some small ones and it tells me where they are. Um, so the ones I looked at were um, I find them folder two it was. Um, that I've got folder two, um, folder one, I usually have lots of um, layering dies. Um, folder two is basically floral. You can see all the little sizes of, um, of things easier when it's in a folder. You can have a look at it and think, okay, that's too big or that's too small. These butterflies would be too big for this type of card. So I looked it out and I thought, right, um, these are the, there's the flowers and um, the butterflies are also in that same folder. So this is how I catalogue everything. Um, I've kind of fallen behind with it, but I kind of know where most things are. But it is a really handy way of, you know, having your uh, stamps and dies so that you can put them away and you know exactly where they are when you need them. So I looked out the butterflies and the flowers, nice little small ones and then I simply put gemstones in so the butterflies I've got a pearl and the flowers I put a little crystal. So that is my birthday card for mum. Uh, her birthday is the day after Mother's Day. So, um, yeah, I'll need to do a Mother's Day card. And 
we are going to, um, we're going up to a place called Fonab Castle, which is near Pitlochry. It's not far from where I live. And we're going to have a very nice, hopefully very nice afternoon tea there. And uh, that will be her birthday treat with myself and my sister. So looking forward to that. Let me know what your thoughts are on the card. And I look forward to sharing with you my next project make. Bye for now.